Get out of the yard! Hey everybody, I'm Dave Lewick, the Trapper Guy. I'm a nuisance wildlife trapper in the Tampa Bay area. And today I'm gonna to be talking about how to keep deer out of your garden and off your landscape plants. Now, whitetail deer are herbivores, and during the fall months, they'll be eating hard mass like acorns. In the summer, they'll be eating soft mass like things like fruit. But year round, they're gonna be browsing on leaves and stems, and that's gonna spell disaster for your landscape. Now, there's a lot of solutions on the internet for keeping deer out of your garden. And if they work for you, great, keep using them. But in my experience, they just don't work. People aren't gonna be calling professionals like me to help them with their deer eating their landscape plants if any of these things were an actual solution. And one of the first things I notice is people talk about putting human hair out throughout their garden. Now, it just to me is not going to work. It's the smell of the human on that human hair that's supposedly gonna keep these deer out of your garden. But in a neighborhood, there's human smells all over the place anyhow. Not to mention the difficulty for some people getting a hold of the amounts of human hair you need. Now another solution some people will have is putting different types of pepper on your plants. And although this probably will work, but every rain, every time the sprinklers go on, pepper's not exactly cheap. So do that to your entire landscape over the lifetime of your house. It's just not very practical. Just say when. Now, different types of urines have been used to try and keep deer out of your yard. Things like predator urine and also even human urine. But uh, the human urine is kind of the same thing with the hair. It's got smell of people on it. A neighborhood's already got people in it. And predator urine, if you got deer in your yard, you've probably got different predators like coyotes around. So, and there's also the thing of just the urine expense of going out and buying predator urine. And no matter what type of urine you use, you don't really want to be that person walking around your yard with a bottle of urine. Oh, hey, how's it going there, neighbor? Yeah, taking care of this deer problem. I got this coyote urine right here. This stuff's supposed to work like magic. Anyhow, take it easy. Have a great day. And any type of discussion about repellents would not be complete without bringing up mothballs. And I'm not even going to get started on that. In fact, I need to do a whole YouTube videos just on mothballs. They work great on moths. Period. Now, what is the big secret to keep deer out of your garden? Well, the big secret is just don't plant what they like to eat. Here in Florida, if you love hibiscus and impatience, you're gonna have a never ending battle with deer no matter what you do. So the best thing to do, and there's no one right plant or wrong plant depending where you're at, Go to your local nurseries. If you have deer population in your area, just go to your local nurseries and just ask for plants that are deer proof or deer don't like to eat. And also you can go to your county extension service and they usually have some great information on there about what plants deer like or don't like. Now what if you have another type of garden or you have garden plants that you just have to grow like saying you're growing a vegetable garden obviously deer are going to like to eat those you're growing them because you want to eat them so not planting them is not an option in that case you're going to have to do fencing so if you're going to do fencing it needs to be at least eight foot high or if it's not going to be that high you want to put a roof over it maybe with some cattle panels or chicken wire or something like that to keep the deer out of there so anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you know when the new videos come out.